I think um, as landholders, we have an obligation to protect our property from a cultural point of view, from an environmental point of view. Um, we're really committed to sustaining our land, improving our land and protecting our land for our future generations. My name is Bree Wakefield. Um, I live at Benoon Station with my husband, Ryan, and our three children, Angus, Harry and Alice. Benoon is in the southern end of the Willandra Lakes World Heritage Area. So I've been involved in the Rabbit Project um, right from the beginning. I am the chair of our local Willandra Landholders Alliance group, which is made up of all of the properties and families within the World Heritage Area. When we signed up to have our property involved in the Rabbit Project, one of the first tasks is to um, go around and, and map all of the rabbit warrens on, on our property and then um, that, that data could then be used to, for the following steps in the Rabbit Project. We've had some local Indigenous people come out and then go over all of the, of the warrens that had been mapped um, just to see if there were any significant sites or, or cultural sites that um, hadn't been noted before. Um, I know that they have actually uncovered some new cultural sites, um, which is great. Great to be known as um, a part of the World Heritage Area, but also I think for us to know, to know about as landholders because now we know to protect those sites. My name is Ernest Mitchell. My tribe are the Barkindji people. So we got a job to go and have a look at these rabbit bars to protect what's around them. Like old remains of fireplaces, harbs, your scarred trees, tells you all the stories and what's been there in the first place and what's never been there. Plus we find big grinding dishes, what's been used over the thousands of years and some of the stuff is all in its natural places. And my name is Tello Shea and I work for Western Land Care and, and one of the projects that we take care of is the on-ground works for the Willinger Lakes Rabbit Project. One of the main project outcomes was a rabbit management plan, so the Willandra Rabbit Management Plans, and that was basically the involvement from the 13 landholders that uh, operate their properties within the World Heritage Area. Um, additionally, the national parks, uh, local land services, Western Land Care, um, and then the Aboriginal Advisory Group, which is to the World Heritage Area. Um, all of those agencies and, and teams working together. Land managers, so national parks included, and that can use that uh, rabbit management plan uh, with those best practices or the current best practice methods. It is a guide that if they stick with that, they can continue to manage rabbits. Yeah, I think there uh, there's definitely uh, real positives in um, eradicating rabbits to reduce any of the effects that they would have on our landscape. Um, this is something that we've worked on in the past and we will continue to work on in the future. Um, and it's a definitely a vital aspect of owning a, a property in the World Heritage Area. What has been great for me is about the environment. It saves a lot. The rabbits are not destroying anything anymore. What's so special to me about this place here is just a lot of history. The, the ground is like a, like a map, really, it's like our sky. Once you get to know your grounds, well, you just about nearly know everything. If you get your eye in on sites, Aboriginal sites, well, they can protect that site. I don't think anybody was particularly prepared for the amount of ACH that was going to be recorded. Uh, and I think one of the big things that has come out of it is, is, is that there are some really unique landscapes and, and some unique aspects here, as well as some unique um, Aboriginal cultural heritage that does need to be looked after. And the landholders are pretty excited to be looking after those and, you know, um, you know managing those areas so that that is sort of is protected. <laughs>